Daddy, are you okay? Yes. I'm having breakfast with my best girl. Now, what could be better than that? But I never get chocolate chip pancakes on a weekday. Well, today's a treat. But why am I getting a treat? What's wrong, Daddy? Good morning, Dr. Westbourne. How are you feeling today? Is the morning sickness any better? I pity that child. Hey, Fee. Yes, Brad. I've got your patient's test results. Uh, uh. What do I get for him? A backhand to the face. Oh. Promise. Brad, any day now? Next time. Excuse me while I boil myself in hand sanitizer. He's not that bad. You're only saying that because you're not the one he winked at. Look, he's just an insecure guy trying to make a stab at a human connection. Or he's a slimeball lackey of the bridge mistress. I'm telling you, they're up to something. You know it has something to do with you and Patrick. I have to talk to you about something. Is it bad? No, no, it's not bad, actually. I, I think it's good, but remember when I told you that, that Britt wasn't going to have the baby? Sometimes that happens. Right, sometimes it happens, that's what I said, but it turns out this time it, everything worked out, and Britt is going to have the baby, which means you're going to have a new brother or a little sister. Isn't that great? Which, please? What did you just say? This isn't fair! Emma, you keep your voice down. You said there wasn't gonna be a baby. I know what I said. But right now, I'm more concerned about what you just said. Which, please? It means by lady like Brit. And where did you hear language like that, huh? Emma? You know what? Forget it. I think I know, and I'm gonna have to have a little chat with your Uncle Felix. Britt and Brad are not plotting to come between me and Patrick, okay? Yes, please, that's exactly what they're doing. And the last time you had a conspiracy theory, you were completely wrong. Okay, go ahead, shoot the fabulous messenger. Okay, look. I confronted Britt about faking the morning sickness. Turns out she had hyperemesis gravidarum. So she now looks like the victim, and I'm the meddling Martha. Or not. Come on, face it. We both know Britt is more than happy to draw Brad into her web of lies. And yes, I've always wanted to say those words. Okay, do you really think that Brad would falsify test results? At least. Hell, if that skis was not so far up my grill that I could see his fleas, I'd speculate he was the one that got the wicked Westmore knocked up in the first place. Okay, look. Even if you're right and Brad is working for Brit, there's no way to prove it. I'll contrary my bill. I have a plan, but I'm gonna need an assist. You game? I made all the necessary adjustments to your labs, so if anyone checks, the data is going to support your claim that you have crippling morning sickness. And no one will ever be able to prove that I don't. I don't want to hear that kind of language from you anymore. Do you understand me? If you do, I'm going to take your privileges away. Fine, but you can't tell me to be happy about the baby. You're right. I can't. Your feelings are your own, but just because you're mad and upset doesn't mean you get to talk like that, all right? And I hope by the time the baby comes that your feelings will change. Not if Brick gets to be my new mommy. Baby, that's not gonna happen, all right? Why not? Because I said so. You also said they want to be a baby. I know. I did. But you know what? We're gonna have to learn how to live with what happened. I'm this baby's father, and I'm going to take care of it. Just like I'm your father, and I'm always going to take care of you. Understand me? I guess. This isn't going to be easy, okay, for either one of us, but we're going to have to make some adjustments. But we're going to be okay. Do you know why? Why? Because me and you are family. And I'm always going to love you, and I'm always going to take care of you, and that will never, ever change. Even when I say bad things? Even when you say bad things, but we're going to have to work on that, all right? No more of that. Okay? Now you... It's just about time to go to school. Next time you have a baby, can it be someone I like? Like Sabrina? I don't know about this, Felix. Trust me, it'll work. At what cost? You're my friend. You're worth the sacrifice. 
I trust you'll keep your mouth shut. Excuse me, doctor. May I speak uh, with you? I'm in the middle of something. It's it's important. Uh, we're done here. Right, Doc? Fine. What's so important? You got a sec? <clears throat> For you? Sure. What you need, Fee? I thought I'd, um, take your temperature. So, you want to see how hot I am, Fee? <laughs> you just seemed feverish. Hey, your fault. I just get warm all over whenever you walk by. <laughs> Listen, why don't we, uh, take this party back to my place? I might need to be put to bed. Let's not jump the gun. So, what's so earth-shatteringly important you had to drag him out of the meeting? I, I wanted to apologize. Oh, I can't wait. I'm very sorry that I was rude to you the other day. Oh, Sabrina, you're always rude, so you're gonna need to be a little bit more specific. I, I implied that your morning sickness was not legitimate. Yeah, that wasn't rude, that was abusive. I mean, I'm carrying a baby, and not just any baby, Patrick's baby. And you actually think that I would use his child to manipulate him. You should be ashamed. To be fair, you have manipulated him in the past. In fact, you've done everything you possibly could to interfere in our relationship. Okay, this is your apology. Hey. Hey. Hi. What's going on? Uh, Sabrina was just apologizing for her atrocious behavior the other day. But somehow it just didn't seem sincere, which makes me wonder what's really going on. Okay, looks like we won't be disturbed, so now we can talk. Well, I'm sure if Sabrina apologized, she meant every word. How was breakfast with Emma? Surprise you. Remind me to talk to Felix. Felix, why? Inappropriate language in front of children. Uh, yeah. He yeah. could be pretty expressive. Anyways, I did talk to her, and I... I told her about the baby. And let's just say that she was less than thrilled. It's a lot for her to process. Yes. When hopefully in time, she'll adjust. It's what a relief. Um, I I'm glad that you're here. I... I got my latest labs, and my condition is deteriorating. Really? You look like you're feeling better. It's deceptive. My OB said she's never seen such a severe case of hyperemesis gravidarum. I've been ordered to take medical leave for the duration of my pregnancy. It's bed rest from here on out. Oh, so you'll be laid up for several months. It's too bad. It is. I really enjoy my job. And I live by myself, and I, I just don't know how I'm going to manage. Well, most women on bed rest hire a, a private nurse. Actually, yeah. Um, here, that's a that's a good idea. You know what? I'll I'll pay for it. What happened to your clothes? Got rid of them. Oh. Didn't need them, and uh, you ain't gonna need yours either. My, aren't you um forward? <laughs> Come on, haven't we wasted enough time already? Huh? Or been making eyes? <laughs> Yeah, circling each other for, for what, months? <laughs> I was beginning to think you didn't like me. Really? Because mm -hmm. for the longest time, I didn't even think you were gay. Why not? Um, because you're so, um, <laughs> butch. And you're always hanging out with Brit. Doc, what's more? No, 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 she doesn't have what I want. And why are you so close with her? I'll tell you what. I'll give it up if... Uh, you give it up. That's very generous of you, Patrick, but it's not that simple. Why not? Excuse me. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll need round-the-clock supervision, and, and that's prohibitively expensive. Well, the insurance company, I'm sure, will cover half of it, and whatever's left, I'll do the rest. Well, there's, um, there's another problem. I'm losing my place. How did you lose your place? 
I didn't resign my lease. I was looking for something bigger with the baby coming. Only somebody swiped the two bedroom I wanted and I can't look for a place being on bed rest. And my old apartment got rented, so now I don't have a place to live. Right. Which makes the live-in nurse really beside the point. And I need a bedroom, like yesterday. What did he do to you? I've seen Brad naked. Oh, my God. I've, uh, I could wash my eyes out with bleach. I could stare directly into the sun until I go blind, but I can't unsee it. I knew this couldn't work. I'm sorry, I just couldn't sex the truth out of Brad. Felix, thank God. I didn't want you to make that sacrifice. I almost lowered my standards straight to the floor, all the way to China, when I had this vision of Epiphany coming at me with this big needle full of antibiotics. I just couldn't go through with it. Good. Felix, I'm glad you didn't, okay? Look, we'll find another way to get the truth. So that's it, we agree then. I don't, I don't think we have any other option. Agreed to what? What's going on? Um, Britt's gonna move in with me.